Hi everyone, Sean Kennedy here from the YouTube channel Java SE Certification Training. In this video I'd like to look at the Enthware question 2.1474 and this is from their Lambda Expressions section. In this particular question you're given a class data which is an int value, a constructor and a two string. You're giving a my filter with a public boolean test which takes in a data and it returns whether that value inside the data is equivalent to zero so you can imagine this is looking like the test method in the predicate interface and then we've got a filter data which takes in an array list and a my filter creating an, uh, an iterator doing the has next and doing the test method on the next item and removing it so zero will be removed from the array list that comes in so we create an array list of data items and then we add in one, two and zero. We pass the array list and the filter object into filter data and when we output it we will get one and two because zero will have been removed. So what we've got to do here is how can you use a lambda expression to achieve the same result? So what I'd like to do is I would like to use NetBeans to put in these options and show you the errors where appropriate and explain those errors. So let's look at the first one here where we change line one up here to the following. So what you're changing is the second argument. You're putting in a lambda expression and what that means is that the second parameter in filter data must be a functional interface so if I go over to NetBeans I had to call mine data1 because I had another data class in uh, the same package of course the same idea same code apart from the name so there's my class and there's the test and then there's the filter data taking in the my filter. That's the original code. And down here, this is what I changed it to. That was the original. And now it's changed to the lambda expression. And the error message is incompatible types. My filter is not a functional interface. So we're passing in a lambda expression, which implements a functional interface and that is a class it is not a functional interface hence the error let's go back to Enthware and have a look at the next options and in fact the second and the third options are very similar add implements java.tilde.function.predicate to my filter that definition and then have the filter data with the lambda expression and the third one is java.util.function predicate generically typed for data to the my filter definition and then have the lambda expression so we we'll look at options two and three now over in netbeans so the call down here is including the lambda expression up here's the my filter where it's no longer a class implementing nothing it's a class implementing the predicate interface however the predicate interface is not generically typed which means it types to object and therefore the test method is expected to be implementing object and that's what the error message here is my filter is not abstract and does not override abstract method test object and predicate so that is one of the problems with that option c is okay let's generically type it so and see well the class my filter error goes away but you've still got this problem here and that you're passing in a lambda and it's a class that's the second argument that needs to be a functional interface here and that's the problem with that one there show the error message incompatible types my filter is not a functional interface let's go back and have a look at the next option 
So on this one, we have to remove my filter class altogether, then change the type of f from my filter to jav.util.function.predicate in the filter data method and replace the line at one. So that's the same as ever. So let's go over and have a look at that. So we've commented out the my filter class completely. We have changed the filter data signature to take in as the second argument, a java.util.function predicate. And then down here, we have the line of code. Now the problem here is again, the fact that this is not generically typed. So it generically types it to object. And therefore it treats X as being of type object, capital O, and then X dot value. It's looking for value in the class object. That's the problem there. Cannot find a symbol variable value in the type object. Okay, so that's the problem with that. So let's go back and have a look at the last option. Remove the class altogether, change the type of f to generically typed, type it for your data in the filter data, and then replace the line. Okay, now we've already that in there. Let's go back over here. And let's go to the last signature. And I'll just bring it down. There, I have a generically typed for data one in my program. And all of the errors go away. So we have no my filter class at all. Now we're taking in a predicate. It's generically typed for data one. There will be a test method in because the predicate interface defines a test method, which will return a Boolean. And now x dot value, well, it's looking at x, it's saying, what should x be? Data one, there's data one and there's the value. So if I run that, we should end up with no zero in the output and we're not, we're getting one and two. So I'll go back over here to Enthware and I will select that one there, evaluate, and there it is. So if you liked that video, please click like. If you'd like to get further videos, please subscribe. And any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much.